You'll see from our last video, we were magnet fishing in the beautiful town of Bridge North. Seeing as there were old buildings that were on the bridge back in the days of old, we also decided to have a mudlark later in the day and see what we could find. Well, so we've, uh, we've done a little bit of magnet fishing. We're going to do some more in a minute just off the um, anti-tank, that almond, that island is there. And we've been mudlarking. We thought we'd have a little mudlark and make the video a little bit different. And I've got a clay pipe stem. There we go, you can see the owl on that end. See the owl on that end. Unfortunately, we can't find any bowls, but we're going to have a look. But uh, I'm going to give that to Kirsty because she collects all the clay pipe stuff. Oh, look, what's that? Oh, a piece of pottery. What's that? Oh, it's just a what a funny shaped stone. Oh, hold on. An angle. Bit of toil. <laughs> Another piece of the same toil. These toil bits, them everywhere. So guys, I'm finding nothing on the magnet fishing side of things because the water's too shallow. So I've come down here to join the mudlarking. It's full of some interesting bits. I've just had this out. I think that's the handle of something. But we're getting weird, strange little bits. That looks like a foot of some sort. Got a clay pipe. Stem to a clay pipe. Oh, look who's here at last. Look, I'm getting little bits of pottery like that, coloured. Got that colour, got that colour. But this is the most interesting thing. I noticed that Kirsty's picked a couple up and I've just found a couple. Now, at first we thought they were clay pipes, but they're not. They're conical. Very strange little things. They're like little pouring jugs. But we're going to have to contact Cy Fines and see if he can help us with any of these. There's another one here, a bit chip this one, but Kirsty's had some uh, perfect condition ones. And then just tiny little bits of river wash tile. And square bits. Really unusual. It's interesting, I'm getting back in. Oh, look at that old piece of pottery. That would have had some writing on by the looks of it. Finding these cone shaped things, but I have no clue what they are. There's another one of those cone shaped things, and another piece of toil. Pottery again. Looks like it could have been off a pot.
these if anybody knows what these cone shaped things could be? Drop it in the comments. There we go guys, I've just been, how did you miss her? <laughs> Up against the stones, old cod bottle, it's got, on it? got the castle on, <gasps> and then on the side it has got the place where we are, bridge north. Oh, no so I'm going to try and cut this down and uh, use it as a glass, a drinking glass. Oh, wow. That is amazing, I love that. Excellent! Okay everybody, so I've just finished. Unfortunately, didn't work out dead on. I had to go down a bit further because we had a bit of a, um, a knock in the glass. So I just took a bit further down than I thought. But you know what, I'm still happy. It's still got Philips Street on it. You can still see if it's Bridge North. You can still see if it's a cod bottle if you know your bottles. But the main thing is I've still got the castle and that's Bridge North Castle. If this was an old bottle, obviously I would never have attempted to uh, cut the bottle down anyway, because it's a piece of history. But because it was broken, well, what the hell, might as well make it into something. And I think I'm going to make that into a nice, as you can see, I've wet and dried around the rim, where I'm going to drink from. And now I'm going to clean this, and uh, that's going to be my glass mirror. Good health to all of you. No, it's really nice actually. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So you can make yourself a drinking glass. So don't throw your old antique bottles away. Always keep them, even if they're broken. So, wait. Right, guys, well, we've been hunting high and low <laughs> all day. But Rusty did it. Rusty found a pipe bowl, but. I'll give it to Kirsty. Oh, we'll, we'll get that on. To find one all day. We'll get that on camera in a minute. Yeah, they're on the way back. But I have had an iPhone. Oh, oh dear. I think it's one of the latest ones, an iPhone 13. I think it's the same as what I've got. And on the back it says, Love you from Lib. Somebody's written on it. Oh. So I'm going to dry it out, stick it in some rice, see if the Mexicans will come and fix it. And uh, we'll see if we can retrieve anything from that. Yeah. I've also had. One of them, which is for fishing rods. Oh, is it? Yeah. I've had a live shotgun cartridge. Oh. Unspent. I've had a fishing feeder. Uh, I've got trench fort. <laughs> now, I, th I think this is a hagstone. If anybody out there What's can... What's an hagstone? I can't remember what they are. I just know that they're known as hagstones. Oh, they're, anci okay. they're ancient or really, really old. So if anybody out there can confirm if that is a hagstone, please leave us a comment in the comment section. Oh. Hagstones have been enchanting the folk of Britain for centuries, often literally. They have often been believed to have magical properties and to be able to mysteriously ward off witches. It's all in the old, you see. The theory goes that only good things can pass through an owl. So while good fortune and good wishes will find you through a haggock stone, bad luck and evil thoughts are too big to be able to pass through the owl and become stuck in the middle. This belief may be bolstered by centuries old belief that magic cannot work on moving water. So since the owl in a hag stone was created by moving water, it works as a sort of shield against spells and the like. What else have we got? 
Oh, more of these. And what's in my little pocket? I've got a little lid. A little th oh. That's my second one today. Not as ornate as my first one. And oh, 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 hang on. Oh, he's reaching it. He's reaching in his pocket. A little hexagon tile. I found a couple of these today. There's a lot of uh, what we believe is tesseract. But it could be um, old tiles. So what's it? Tesseract? Tesseract. What's that? It's what the Romans used to use as tiling. Oh, right. Floors, like mosaic flooring. So, we'll get these checked out by Cy Fines when we see him next. But we're about done. My feet are they're starting to split now. I've got trench foot. <laughs> or wench foot, as I said earlier. <laughs> as you can see over there, we've got Glenn and Kirsty. We just can't get them that, out the water. I was going to say, they're still at it, ain't they're they? Still they're still at, at it. it. <laughs> no, in case she don't want to come back now, she wants to stay here all day. <laughs> oh dear. But we're going to call it a day, so uh, we'll, we'll see you on the finds. We will, but we, we will come back and show you the pipe that you found. Yeah, you found it's, a pipe, it's getting it? late now though, like it I is. say. You can see my feet, look, they're a bit wet. I've got oh, trench foot. Dear. Do you think we'll get them back in? We're going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve's on about his pipe hole and he's giving Kirsty, and there it is. Oh, I can't wait to see that cleaned up, Kirst. It should dry Look. out naturally, turn white, right? Oh, should it? Yeah, yeah it turn white of their own accord. Look, absolutely fantastic. Going back to the farm that Steve found earlier. As you know, we always try to reunite certain items back with their rightful owners. So this is what we did. Right. So guys, we are, uh, we've got Steve on the phone as well, look, there he is. <laughs> he's the one, he's the one that found the phone, but it was Piggy Dipper kind of joint effort. So what we're going to do is we're going to phone this phone and see if we can get it back to the owner, Marie. Well, we've got managed to get a number, haven't we, Sam? We've managed to get a number. Hello, Steve. So, good luck. magnet fishing in Bridge North the weekend with magnet fishers um, and we've come across uh, an orange phone we've pressed the medical ID on it and it's came up as uh, with her husband's number and a mom's number we found it on Sunday it's got um, obviously I've powered it up because it's obviously still working uh, being I think they're waterproof aren't they um, no, <laughs> it's in perfect working order. It's got three children on the front. Okay. On the photo. Good. Yeah, in Bridge North. <laughs> yeah. You want to pick it up and it, it's here waiting for you, Bab. Yeah, yeah. Piggy Dippers. You'll see us all on there. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem at all, Bab. I'll speak to you soon. Ta-ra, right. mate. Ta-ra. My God! <laughs> it's good. So, guys, uh, just so you know, for the record, we've uh, we've told the man that Steve found it, which he did, and also uh, we've just found out the lady had a bag nicked and everything smashed up in a bag. But so where the phone has survived in one piece is a mystery. I, didn't, I couldn't hear that, mate. So yeah, they have the bag stolen. Um, and the guy on CCTV they're smashing up. Everything in the bag, so the the gob smack the phone still survived. Well, that's brilliant that we've managed to retain another stolen item then. Yeah. Catching, catching. Like, subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. <laughs>
give you my everything It's not much, but it's all I have You know we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I Next, we visit the delightful town of Ludlow to search history in its shallow waters. So Glenn's just having a bit of a wade out there and a, a bit of a throw out the magnet. But he's coming, here he comes. Oh, I'll tell you something, he's got an eye like an orc he has. No, it's not one. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. A look. piece of um, old clay pipe stem. You can see where it's got the the hole through there. I was hoping to see a maker's mark on it, but I think the very end of it snapped off. Oh. That's for uh, Kirsty when she arrives, because I know she collects little pieces like that. So, yeah, I'll keep looking, keep my eyes peeled. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, that's well worn, isn't it? So there we go, guys. We've got the Vicky Penny. 1891. Nice. Oh, he means oh, business. Nice. Woo! 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 <laughs> For a Kodak battery, doesn't it run out? Sure, this ain't Is that mine? No, it's fine. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. You're like half mile past as soon as being out. <laughs> Picking up the stars. Being <laughs> Place like this, Nige, and what have you got? A spade from 1974. <laughs> not good. It's not going to anyway. be my point, Nigel. He's got a sword. I've got ye sword. <laughs> Look at that. We did think it was at first, but it's got rivets going through it, so it's not. But uh, yeah, I mean, right outside the castle as well. So, as near as for a sword I'm going to get today, we'll try, we'll keep trying, we'll keep trying, we'll keep trying. Well, at least it's metal. What is it? I think it's a hinge off a gate. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, pretty sure it's a hinge. Off a castle? Yeah, it could be off the, could be off this, the dungeon doors. <laughs> I'm going to come over here, boy, yeah, I'm not getting nothing. You rang. Very old. I think. Mm -hmm. Got these square 
nail things in. Alright folks, Stanley's here, comes with me magnet fishing now. Hot work here today isn't it Stanley? No it's my water. Oh look, when we go up I'll get you some tap water. Oh, I thought you were going in there, no. Oh, no. Absolutely right. Yeah. Well and truly stuck, that is. How far out is it, Nige? It's not that far out, actually. Fucking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brain gun barrel, I told you. It's a brain gun barrel. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's a junk barrel! Oh. <laughs> <Don't you laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, f***ing <laughs> You've just got... Oh, you know, it's like you just got... Anyway, there's some, there's some talk about this being a firing pin out of a Lee Enfield. I just think it's a scaffold pole. <laughs> Look what we've got! What you got? Set a fork! Oh! <laughs> what is it? It's got a flint, it's got a flint lock on. Flint lock on it? Yeah. Wow. That's it is old. a flint lock on it. It's a flint lock. That is old. Look at that! <gasps> no! That is beautiful. That's a beautiful piece. So what's Very that nice. there? I think it's a flint lock because the barrel that sat there, and then you that that wooden piece that came round that way, wouldn't it? I, I was going to say I could see. So it'd have been like a, a dueling pistol. I can see that, that thing there. And Marie wanted to go. Oops. I'm glad I stopped now. After all the scaff bars, I pulled that out. What? And my big fish. Has it got that lock yeah, it's a, lever there? Yeah, it's a flint lock. Oh, I'm going to punch with this. Could you do me a favour? <laughs> <laughs> I just need somebody to pull the rope from over there. The magnet's stuck here, but it needs pulling that way. Do you get what I mean? It's in a, it's in a rock, yeah. but if we pull it that way, it'll come out. <laughs> oh, you're so Oh, right. Yeah, it's Yes. Yeah. Oh, hey, we love you. Thank you. Give it a pull. There it is. Oh, you're right. Don't you think of that? Yay! Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no. What's the URL? Uh, Peaky Dippers. Peaky Dippers, yeah. mate, you're a star. Thank you. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, <laughs> this bloke here just had to wear this rescue Nigel's magnet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What? what a star. Yeah, so I had a long wait for that. <laughs> what you got then, Lloyd? Come on. Oh, After all that. So you can't see this, but the car's here. <laughs> the car, I mean, it's only got 170 brake, but I couldn't get this free. And some guy, I'm not sure where he's from, he sounds maybe American, uh, but he's just stopped and helped us out really kindly. Oh, he, bless he pulled him. it from the other direction. And look, it's a weight. Oh, nice shop weight, whatever. It's definitely a weight. Oh wow! That's what it's come out with. Wow. <laughs> and we just thought it was stuck in a groove in a rock. That was a long wait. I was wait, ready noise. to walk away for that. That was a long wait. We had to wait for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> At first glance, this looks just to be another rusty old weight. Well, guess what? Glenn removed the crud only to reveal these markings and a date of 1780. Hours of online research revealed a fascinating fact. The engravings seemed to match those of Thomas Munn. Thomas Munn was an English economist, merchant and colonial administrator. He is best known for his work on trade and the role of money in international commerce. Most notably, he is also known for serving as the director of the East Indian Company, which evolved from an enterprise run by a group of the City of London merchants. 
His ideas and writings played a crucial role in shaping economic thought during the early modern period. His most notable work is the book England's Treasure by Foreign Trade, published in 1664. In this work, he emphasised the importance of a favourable balance of trade for a nation's prosperity, asserting that exporting more than importing would lead to an accumulation of wealth. As we admire this beautiful historical relic, let's inspire us to keep our eyes open and to check our crud, because who knows what other fragments of history are waiting to be discovered. I try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would and before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me The one who saves me Right guys, it's time to go home We've had a okay day. Some bits and bobs come out, but other than that, look at that beautiful look at that castle. But uh, so we got Mr. Fox. We've got Nicola. We've got Marie. And we've got the amazing Kirsty and Michael. <laughs> <I'm> amazing. <laughs> and Nicola's amazing too. <laughs> so um, yeah, Michael and Kirsty, bless them, they've took the scrap again. Yes. So uh, thank you so much, we appreciate and that. Welcome. And fed us, thank and you. coffeed us up. Thank you. I'm not going to sleep tonight with all the caffeine I off. I didn't have a samosa. <gasps> you were good, you were good girl. She had three. <laughs> she didn't have a samosa, she had three of them. <laughs> Tomato soup, two bottles of wine. And lemon yeah. chicken or something. Yeah. And some chicken or lemon, something. Lemon and eggs, <laughs> yeah, KFC. <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so guys, yeah, it's come to the end of the day. Um, not not brilliant on finds, unfortunately, but you know what? I've got some lovely drone shots of this. I hope you all enjoy. And um, yes, yeah. we're just going to uh, next week is the collab, the Outcast collab of 2023. So um, we'll see what happens there and see what's pulled out, and we'll see how much money's raised. So big love. See you on the finds. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> the finds roundup. Hello everybody, Beaky Dippers, thank you for joining us on the premiere. It is just after the club. We're exhausted, remember? Yeah. <laughs> We're, uh, yeah, so we've done the club, and as you see on last week's video, um, we did Bridge North. Yeah. Magnet fishing. But we did do a little bit of mudlarking because the river where was mag obviously magnet fishing was a bit deeper. And then as it went out, it got really shallow and it was literally ankle deep. So we've got a little bit of mudlarking, something a little bit different to the channel, but we are going to bring a little bit of mudlarking in there again, because believe me, people don't realise the bits and bobs you can get from mudlarking. Um, and we just want to find that history, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> um, but we have also got a little bit, it's a bit tangled up this video, because we have also got a bit of Ludlow one as well. Mm -hmm. Now, we've done outside the castle. Um... We've done outside the castle and uh, we didn't have many finds, it's just all scaff bars. The prehistoric scaff bars. Yeah. Um, but Mr. Perry found a white and I didn't think nothing of it at first. I nearly chucked it in the scrap. Um, but you always check. To be fair to you, good. To be fair to you, you always do check. Yeah. So I got the, the hammer on the side of the crowd and on the white and I've actually painted it up there because uh, Steve wants this as a doorstep, a doorstop. So, uh, 
it's kind of give away while I was cleaning it, <laughs> which was quite fun there. But yeah, um, so this is the white. There we go. Yeah, he's painted it all up. 1780 TM, which is Tom Munn's. Thomas Munn. Thomas Munn. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we believe it's an old uh, shipping weight. So right, something like that. Trade weight. Trade yeah. weight. <laughs> so look at that, 1780, what a find. So we, it was over the moon, that we was. So that was that bit of, um, that was the one best thing that come out of Rudd Dow really. But the day was lovely, we spent it with Kirsty and Michael and we had a good wonder about and Yeah. Yeah, so, right, back on to the finds for Bridge North. So, we have got some finds guys, I haven't got a clue what some of it is. Uh, I've got an idea what some of the other bits are. And it is mudlarking, so if you are a magnet fisher or you're into magnet fishing, this is slightly different, but I uh, we have got some stories to tell about some of this. So, first of all, we found that, which is a fishing sensor, I believe, Steve said. Some mm -hmm. kind of a fishing sensor. So that's that, that can go in the bin. Stick it to fishing. Nice to get these out of the water though, to be fair. Big lead plates on the back of them, and that is a, a fishing bite thing. Cage. Cage, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. We've had lots of odds and sods of pottery, which I'm not going to bore you with because I've got a bucket load of it outside, but I've showed a few, I'm going to show a few interesting bits. We're having a lot like that, which I can imagine is very old flooring. Yeah, the, the, oh, like mosaic. Call them now. Um, like mosaic um, flooring. The toil, the, those shaped toils. Yeah. So I just wanted to show that one. I'm not going to show all the little shards we found because you'll be here forever. Now this piece was interesting because if you look at that, it leans and if you look on the inside, it's got a thread. Oh. So that would have threaded onto something, mm. I'm thinking. But look how old it is, I mean, even after cleaning this stuff up, you can see how old all that is, it's really old. I know for a fact I found, I don't know if this is Tudor or Roman, um, I am looking into this one, but um, this is a piece of, it could either be, it's definitely roof slating. Well, there was all buildings on that bridge, wasn't there, originally, back, originally. In, the, back in the day? Yeah, it could have been a piece of slate off the, off the prison houses, mm -hmm. you never know, yeah. or off the tolls. But um, I know Lee Cuts will probably be watching this and he'll be able to tell me for definite. Lee, there's some workings down the bottom here, very fine lines. I think there's some kind of a trademark here. I can't make out what it says, just a triangle. But if you look at the kilning, I am guessing that perhaps Tudor, more than Roman, I think more Tudor would tie in with that one. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll leave Lee for that one. Found some bits of old plate. Now some of the plates we was pulling up was actually a really good make. I think it was like coal ports or something. Hmm. And I was like, wow. And I think Michael even found a piece with 1700 and something on it. Found a top to a very old bottle. Now, we're finding a lot of these things at first. I mean, I've pulled a lot of clay pipes out of bottle dumps, out of rivers. But I thought there was, I thought there was clay pipes at first, but I knew there wasn't. But um, when you first see them under the water, you think, oh, clay pipe. But we have actually found out since that these are pie separators. Are they? Ceramic pie separators. Pie, what do you mean, pie separators? Pie. Is it a pie? Really? Not for a bakery, yeah. So, that's what I've been told. See, because I was wondering whether that there was those things that doubt candles, because there used to be a church on the bridge. Well, there'd be millions of candles in the church, <laughs> mate. So, we had uh, loads of them, it's too many to show you. We had a metal ring, which I am going to clean up, because I need to check that out. It's probably just a metal ring. We had ceramic rings, which people might go, oh, just ceramic rings. But you know what? I bought them back, because to be fair... They were brilliant to stop cannonballs rolling off your display. <laughs> so I'm going to use them, oh, not so much that one, <laughs> but I'm going to use all these. To stand your cannonballs. Stand my cannonballs in. Good idea, definitely yeah. a good idea. There you go, and I'll paint them up nice and clean. And I thought rather than the river have them, 
all in my Finland. <laughs> so, uh, that is yeah. a good idea, Glenn. I just thought that'd be ideal for the, uh, <laughs> the cannonballs and the collection that I've got. I found I've always wanted, and I, it's really weird, but I've always wanted a full horse's skull, a Roman one, like mega old. I've always wanted a horse's skull. And you, I didn't get this on camera. And people are going to sound weird now, but I've always wanted a horse's skull. Right? But I got next best thing right under the bridge where the toll house would have been, right? Yeah. And where the horses, the pack horses would have bought stuff in. Yeah. I found this. Can, can anybody guess what it is? Turn it around. That is a horse's tooth. It is. And I was out of the moon, I literally put my foot by and I was like, hmm, because you can't see under the water prop. Yeah, it's all wavy and bender. And I was like, put my hand on it. And I couldn't believe it. I don't think I've got this on video, but um, yeah, I love it. I've said it before though, you have got an eye like an orc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, I have got a good eye for more dark in it, it seems. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. Don't ask why, but I'm really, really happy with that. And I think that, next to a nice horseshoe. Oh yeah. On a piece of wood, just give it a bit of a... Uh, if, well, if, if I mean, look. we don't know how far that goes back, do we, really? No. But, we're finding a lot of stones with circles in them, with holes in them. And, apparently they're quite rare to come across. The hagstones? Them hagstones? Yeah, and they are definitely hagstones. Right, so, I don't know what information Marie's put on about these, but all I know about hagstones is, is, just after medieval times and... Let's say 1500s, that kind of era, when people were very God-fearing and very spiritual. Uh, they had these, I don't know if they wore them on a chain or whether they put them in the bedrooms, to ward off witches. Yeah, that's right. Am I right? Yeah. Right, okay. So, I read that years ago, so, you know. But, Hagstone said that the witch was the hag. Mm. Yeah. So, right. the witch was the hag. And these, apparently, keep away witches. Yeah. Which the, the doesn't witch... work because I've got Marie sitting there with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it. I couldn't... I couldn't... <laughs> what does he do when I bring it towards you, Marie? Oh, don't. Oh, I'm melting. <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of hate for that now. But that is just the way I am. That's the way we are. Yeah. But yeah, that, that people used to put those on... Um, on, on chain, you know, leather chains. Necklaces. Like stuff, yeah. Yeah. So, have the moon with them. Them and... They're lovely. I love them. Them history as well, them supernatural history, which I like. And I never knew about hagstones. Did you? No. I think as well, on the Thames, people find oysters, oyster shells with perfect dolls in them. All right. And I think them was something to do with warding off spirits as well. But I'm not going to go into that because that's not my expertise. Yeah. But, um... I've got a funny feeling that's what that was for as well. Um, some people say they took the circle out of the oyster shell to make buttons. Mm -hmm. Some people say they took the, the owl out of the oyster shell just to have as a poor man's necklace. This is the thing now, I want to start collecting nag stones, I think. I think, <laughs> even if we just go back there just for the fun of it and grab a lot more of them, yeah. because there was hundreds of these, mm -hmm. but you're not supposed to, like, it's supposed to be really rare to find them. Oh, right. Okay. I'll say there's hundreds, there's probably hundreds. 50 out of a, a mile of water. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think we need to go back and get them. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm out of the moon. I'm going to ward off flies because I've got a fly around me. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, as you'll see on the video as well, guys, Steve found uh, a mobile phone in the water. Yeah. And we thought it had gone past it, to be fair. But to be fair, this phone was in really good condition. Mm -hmm. So, um, just proving it was waterproof. <laughs> yeah. Um, we went on to the phone. Well, obviously, I dried it out with rice first for a couple of days. Went on to the phone, put the power lead in. We couldn't believe it when it lit up. We got a picture of some children on there, which we're not going to show on the video. Oh, the door's going. So we pause it for pause. a minute. And we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Our door never, ever goes. Probably once a year. Like, yeah. Every week with a postman, obviously bringing bills and that, but other than that, once a year, then somebody turns up, so. Yeah, so what was I saying? What was I saying, Marie? 
I forgot myself. <laughs> right, so Agstones. Agstones, yeah. Right. Ag Steve Stones. found a phone. Oh, that was it, that was it. That was it. Steve found a mobile phone and uh, we managed to get back to the owners, basically. Know, Cut the long story short. Uh, the lady came here to collect it and she was over the moon because she got file tiles on there that she couldn't replace. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail for the lady's privacy, but it was a robbery. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, so we managed to get it back to her, which was really nice. Yeah. Really, really nice. So if you are watching this video, um, the lady who had the mobile taken, it was just a pleasure to get it back to you. And he was sitting there in the water, not surprised like the battery hadn't exploded or, you know, swollen with the water and that. Mm. And the screen was in brilliant condition. So yeah, that's all back and that's uh, made somebody happy, so that's the main thing. Um, I will be going live on, uh, on the weekend, I'll let you know, Sunday or Saturday, we'll see. Um, we're all going somewhere really brilliant, and we Mary? Yeah. Really, really brilliant. I can't wait. Um, very excited. We've had a permission. I'm not saying no more on that. So look out for the lives. So look out for the live over the weekend. Yes, definitely. And I'm sorry I didn't get a lot of lives of the club, but it was just a club, and it was. You can't make a video out of clubs, really. You can make bits and bobs, but uh, to have the camera running all day, it was a bit hard. So. Anyway guys, big love from the Pinky Dippers, look out for the live on the weekend, I'm going to say weekend because we don't know what day yet, and we shall see you then, by order of the Pinky Dippers, we shall see you on the next one. <laughs>